So today we're going to be talking about turbines. And what a turbine is, is it takes a high pressure gas or fluid and it expel it makes it go through some fan blades and expels it at a lower pressure. And while it makes it spin those fan blades, we get shaft work. So a rod starts spinning and from there we can uh, make that work do something. So there's a workout. Now, normal assumptions, uh, very similar, to, very similar to last time. We can assume that there's very little heat transfer between the fluid and the and the turbine. Uh, we can assume that the changes in kinetic energy and potential energy are very close to zero. But in this case, we actually have a component of work to deal with. So normally, what the equation we would see is if we take into consideration all of the assumptions, it's mass flow rate times enthalpy in minus enthalpy exiting equals the work out. So this is what we're normally going to be using um, when dealing with turbines. However, the practice problem I'm going to be giving you guys, what I'm going to be doing right now, is going to be slightly different. Uh, this time we're going to uh, make no assumptions for kinetic energy, potential energy, or even a heat transfer. I'm going to give all of those I don't know. Those all all those are going to be given. Uh, so we're going to have to solve for everything just to see what a problem involving the entire equation would look like. So we're going to have steam. This is going to be a steam turbine. We know the that there's a mass flow rate 1.5 kilograms per second pressure going in is 2 MPa, temperature going in is 350 degrees Celsius, velocity going in 50 meters per second, the height going in is 6 meters above the, above the floor, and what we know about the, out, uh, the outlet condition is its pressure, which is 0.1 megapascals. It has a, well it should be a 2, shouldn't it? It has a velocity of 100 meters per second. Its height is only 3 meters. And it has a quality of 1. So this is a saturated vapor. So, what, uh, and, oh, yes, and there's also a heat transfer of 8.5 kilowatts, which is just a kilojoule per second. So, let's start solving this. Uh, state one is a saturated, uh, not saturated, it's a superheated gas. So we go to the superheated tables and find that its enthalpy is 3,130. And since state 2 is a saturated vapor, it's also going to be really easy. You're not going to have to do any linear interpolation or anything. Its enthalpy is 2,675.5 kilojoules per kilogram. And that's all we, ha that's all we need to find the work. So let's get going. We, if we were to write out the equation and solve it for work, we would have work equals the heat transfer plus the mass flow rate times the change in enthalpy from state 1 to state 2 plus the change in velocity squared from state 1 to 2 plus the change in g times z from state 1 to state 2. Uh, and we do all this out and we can figure out uh, what work is. So let's do it piece by piece. So delta enthalpy will just be uh, 3130 minus, actually not 30, it should be 37, I don't know why I wrote 30. 
minus 26, 75.5. That equals 461.5 kilojoules per kilogram. Uh, delta V squared over 2 is 50 squared over 2 times 1,000. Don't forget we have to convert to kilojoules. Minus 100 squared over 2 times 1,000. And that equals negative 3.75 kilojoules per kilogram. So uh, this is a negative a net loss, which is uh, pretty obvious. And then we have delta GZ, which is 9.81 meters per second squared times 6 minus 3 all over uh, 1,000. Don't forget we have to convert these to kilojoules too. And that equals uh, positive 0 0.029 kilojoules per kilogram. So work is going to equal negative 8.5 kilo kilowatts plus 1.5 times 461.5 minus 3.75 plus 0 0.029. If you do all the math out, work equals 678.2 kilojoules per second or kilowatts. And that's how you do a full problem with the entire uh, first law of thermodynamics for turbine.